What is up guys? Look, welcome back. Here we are. We got some pretty cool news to announce to you guys. Um, you know, if you've, you've been following us, we've had this channel now for, I think this is the third year going that we've really um, put an effort into it, I would say. I mean, we've had it for a little while. Um, we appreciate all the support so far and it's kind of cool. Fin Commander, I just want to give you all a little history on Fin Commander, where it come from. Uh, so Fin Commander was something that we, we come up with the idea of, um, kind of towards the end of while we were filming Duck Dynasty, um, basically because we fish a lot. If we're not hunting, we're fishing. I mean, uh, obviously we work. I know some of y'all think we don't, but we do work. But once we get our jobs done, we go fishing. So we figured, why the heck not video it and have some fun with it since we're going to be going anyway, right? So that's what we did. And that's where Fin Commander started. Uh, it's had some interesting developments. It, it probably our first little licensing deal or whatever with the brand came with Zebco. Uh, made some little rod and reel combos that were in Walmart. Super cool uh, to see something that was just an idea to us put put in production. And then from there we got a Plano tackle bag, a little small tackle bag. It was also available in Walmart. Sold a ton of them. Uh, that was cool. Then we kind of graduated into the crappie baits which again super neat we crappie fish a lot a lot because fish to us like deer are a food source and ducks i mean we we go fish and we go to have fun go to catch them but we're going to keep them and eat them too so that you know that's just who we are it's how we're raised it's what we do so the crappie were kind of the first uh, the first one that really made sense for us since we do it more than we do anything and with the uh, partnering with the uh, crappie magnet guys, Jeff Smith and all them up there has been really successful. We helped them design a couple of baits, um, stuff that we use all the time with a slab magnet and slab curlies and all that kind of stuff. So that was really cool to see that happen. And it's, it's pretty cool, I'll be honest, when you work on something and you help design something and all of a sudden, boom, it catches fish. Uh, that, that's a neat, neat deal, uh, especially for, you know, just rednecks like us. So with all that being said, we're expanding our line even more. Now we're going to actually have FinCommander.com. We're launching a website and you've asked and we've tried to deliver. Uh, there's a lot of you asking for bass baits out there. Will y'all ever make bass baits? Will y'all ever, you know, do this, do that? So the answer is yes. We're going to get dip our toes in with the bass stuff. Um, I've partnered up with a guy that's made me a lot of custom stuff for years and he's, he's making these jigs for us so to answer your question no we're not making them here in louisiana they are being made in oklahoma and we purchase them from him and he sends to us and then we package them so we do package them and then we hopefully send them to y'all if y'all like them so uh this is a cool project i'm excited about it we're going to start super small with it uh, on the bass side we're going to offer a couple of different jigs we're going to offer a flipping jig we're going to offer a football head jig we're going to offer a swim jig and we're also going to offer uh, a shaky head. So we're going to, I'm going to go through uh, each one of those uh, best I can while we're here and, and show you guys something about them. Uh, would love to get y'all's feedback on what you see here. If there are colors that we're missing, if there's colors you want to see, if there's, if there's just, you know, anything you guys want, we're here to serve. We want to be super nimble in this project. Uh, we want to kind of fill some gaps that may be there at other places and Hope that you guys enjoy this as much as we do, because it's a lot of fun um, and something that we're real excited about. So I'm going to start with the flipping jigs. So uh, I don't I don't know if we ended up calling this one like Martin's Bass Slayer or something like that, but that's what that's what Jeff, who makes these for me, called them. Uh, <laughs> and it's kind of weird because it was a custom color because he had never built anything like this. But it's a color that I've built for myself and 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 used for years but it's a black and purple flipping jig this one right here is a half ounce we're going to have it in uh, several different sizes once we get them all in uh, some of the stuff we're going to go ahead and launch the website without having all the stuff in but you'll only be able to order what's in so if it's there you can order it we got it in stock but we'll constantly update it put some new SKUs on there so be looking for all that but this guy right here is a half ounce flipping jig you can see it's got that kind of flip head, so that way it wants to stand up like this. Should be extremely weedless. Uh, as you know, if you fish jigs a lot, there is no jig that is completely weedless, but comes with a nice uh, 
nice firm weed guard here we give you a little more a little extra so a lot of you are going to trim it off like i do get it down to where um you know where you can really get good penetration on a fish but as you can see they're stiff bristles but the hook comes right out of it so it's not a I mean, it's, it's it catches fish i've been using this guy custom built for me personally for probably three or four years now caught a lot of fish off of it i generally pair it with some sort of trailer um you know like a zoom speed crawl or a bandito bug guggen based bandito bug something to give it a little more bulk on the back end um and to help kind of slow the fall a little bit i like a slower fall i know there's times where you need to go boom, straight to the bottom that's if you're fishing thick grass we don't fish a lot of grass around here so uh, we fish a lot of cypress trees you know diving at targets uh you know little lay downs whatever so a nice slow fall a lot of times fish will hit it while it's falling you pick up and there's nothing there so that's one color that we're going to have the black and purple we're going to have your standards uh your black and blues um we're going to have green pumpkins we're going to have all your basic colors we're going to have um with a few custom uh variations on that i know we'll have a green pumpkin blue in it also um and everything that we're making in a flipping jig we're also going to make in a football head so you'll have a casting option in that jig those aren't in yet the mold's running a little bit behind on getting that made so not a problem they will be here be looking for it like i said we're going to update you and let you know what's coming um so if you like to jig fish like we do down here, hopefully we'll have something for you. And we're going to add new colors. We're going to take away colors. We're going to we're going to mess around. We want to be customer service minded for you guys. So um, moving on, we're also going to make swim jigs, half ounce. And I think I think we're just going to make the half ounce starting out. So um, this guy right here is kind of a sexy shad color in a swim jig, as you know, as it gets a little bit later. Uh, in the year early early summer late spring when the shad spawn goes on those fish the shad show up to spawn around the grass you can take one of these guys and have some of the most fun you can have in your life put a little swim bait trailer on the back of him i've got one here with a trailer already on it that's a little kitek 3.8 it's caught a lot of fish you can tell because the trailer's just barely hanging on so um great little swim jig i've used it a lot uh, again, give you plenty of weed guard. You can trim off, make it custom for everybody. If you want to leave it stock, leave it stock. Um, there's all types of videos out there talking about trimming weed guards from people that know way more about this than I do. So I like to cut off a little bit of it because let's face it, they got me when they said do it. So it seemed like a great idea. So I'll do it. Uh, and then we'll also have it in green pumpkin. So that way you can mimic a bluegill when the bluegill spawn starts. You can find you a bluegill bed, take you one of these guys across a bluegill bed and if there's a bass sitting on the edge of it he will dough pop it um so that's kind of cool and then the last thing we're going to have for the bass world starting out is a shaky head so i know for years you've seen shaky heads where the screw lock comes out the front of the head right well we're going to put the screw lock on the shank of the hook so you're going to rig this a lot more like your typical texas rig you're going to you'll bring your little worm up little trick worm whatever you want to use uh everybody uses a lot of different things you'll screw him onto the head there i even go one step further and put a little dab of super glue at the top of that and then you just rig him up and what that does is it increases the bite of your hook so instead of having this guy coming out here and i'm sure a lot of you have done this i have for years where you lose a lot of fish on a shaky head especially good fish smaller fish seem to stay buttoned up but a good fish sometimes it's hard to really get in there and grab him because your bite is so small then we're hopefully we're going to increase your hookups with this guy right here um i love fishing a shaky head on the river here the washita river during the summer find them little little gravel spots little hard spots on the river you can just look down the bank and you see a bunch of rock coming out and you know i know when we say rock we're talking about pea gravel further north you go you get actual rocks but um you look at it and you like you can almost say there's going to be six spotted bass living on that little rocky spot you can pull up there throw a little shaky head catch you a few spots if you're like me you throw them in the cooler eat you some fresh fish during the summer call it good um and just have a good time so this is this is a project we're super excited to to start on and we're going to grow it and morph it from there um you know if you guys support it and you like it and all that kind of good stuff then we'll keep adding skews we may one day get into plastics you never know um, but it's super fun for us it's something that we we do anyways so um 
you know, and it's something that we're proud to be able to say is still just like our duck calls, 100% made in the USA. So um, everything we do right now, especially on all this kind of stuff, will be built in Oklahoma and sold here in Louisiana. So that's, you know, we're all about supporting American American workers when it comes to that. So uh, anywhere we can help, we're going to. Look, that's going to wrap up this little part of it. I know this isn't a super like high octane video, not catching anything. We're in here in a shop, talking shop basically, but hopefully you like it. Be sure and check out FinCommander.com. Check out all the stuff. We'll have all of our shirts, hats, baits, anything that's Fin Commander will have there. Uh, and we'll be updating it all the time. We'll be adding new products. We'll be, you know, hope putting new content up on this channel, putting new content on our social. So like, subscribe, give us a follow across our platforms. Let's have a good time. Let's go out there, catch some fish, and let's eat some fish. There's nothing wrong with eating them, folks. Nothing. They taste delicious. So till then, we'll see y'all out on the water. Catch them all, boys.